1600s. And a pointer named Sensation is the emblem for the Westminster Kennel Club. The Westminster Kennel Club was established to refine this breed. Hard driving, handsome, and always ready to go, the pointer is known as the Cadillac of bird dogs. They hunt by scent in the air as opposed to on the ground, and once they have trapped their prey, they point. In 1993, these famous Pointer sisters, Penny and Katie, had everyone jumping for their love. When as a pair, they won not a Grammy, but their sixth best in show in the pairs category. The Pointer breed we know today was developed in 17th century England. Their exact lineage is a bit of a mystery, but most agree that the Pointer family tree includes Foxhound, Greyhound, Bloodhound, a Setting Spaniel, and maybe Terrier. So all this is in the melting pot to produce the final refined product. The pointer is medium-sized and muscular, with an average weight of between 45 and 75 pounds. They have a smooth coat that usually comes in a combination of white with liver, orange, lemon, or black. But perhaps the pointer's most distinctive feature is its head, with a distinctive stop or indentation between muzzle and forehead. The stop is the area on their face where the bridge of their mouth actually meets their forehead. And they have hanging ears and a strong mouth for picking up objects. Hey. This is Bertie, a pointer mix who lives in a small village in the English countryside. We've had Bertie for six years now. We got Bertie uh, from a rescue center. We just bonded with him straight away. Like most pointers, Bertie is happy, energetic, and shares a special bond with his family. Just likes to be with us all the time. He's almost human. Bertie is like a little brother to me. Bertie is my friend. I, I love going for a walk with Bertie. And true to his breed, Bertie loves to hunt. The surprise to his family was what he was hunting for. <coughs> I was taking Bertie for a walk and uh, I took a golf ball with me instead of a tennis ball. I was throwing it around and he's got the golf ball in his mouth and he swallowed it. How could he do that? The whole family was amazed when Ben came home with the news. I was really shocked, scared and amazed. He seemed all right. He was still playful. You'd never have known there was anything wrong with him. To be safe, Melanie phoned the vet and brought Bertie in for an x-ray. Oh. At the clinic, they weren't surprised. Oh, we see dogs eating weird or unusual things, not uncommonly. In Bertie's case, he was quite bright and happy when he came in, so he weren't overly concerned. But what Bertie's x-ray revealed even shocked the professionals. <laughs> Bertie had swallowed not just one golf ball, but count them, eight others. Yep, nine total, all in the stomach at the same time. Well, we couldn't believe that Bertie had managed to have that many golf balls in him and still be a relatively well dog. For several weeks, the golf balls stayed lodged in Bernie's stomach, which stretched to accommodate them and the food he ate. And the news that this wasn't Bertie's first Bertie shocked his family, too. We did leave next door to a golf course, and we were so worried. Bertie was whisked into surgery, and the golf balls were removed. These are the actual golf balls that we took out of Bertie. As you can see, they're in various stages of degradation, where they're being digested by his stomach acid. This is a nice clean one, which is the one that he ate on the morning he came in, through to this one, which he's probably been in there for a few weeks or months, I suspect. But it's not just the pointer who will pick up things in their mouth. Most dogs are very oral. They will swallow almost anything. And vets across the world have seen it all. The incredibleness of my dog ate what includes things like a fork, a spoon, a teddy bear, a rubber ducky, and even... It's Homer Simpson. Yep, you heard that right. That's Homer Simpson. Oh. For some dogs, it's exploratory. But for others, consuming objects can be a sign of a more serious disorder like Pika or OCD. Pika 
literally means depraved appetite. There's definitely different theories behind why a dog will eat inanimate food objects. Boredom and OCD is what I think it stems from. More than it is them missing something in their diet. But whatever the circumstance, a dog swallowing an object is a medical emergency. Now, it's not treated. That can lead to intestinal perforation, uh, sepsis, and death. While not all dogs who do this suffer from a disorder, some are just, well, being dogs. Even if it's not actually tasty, they might just swallow it. Today, Birdie remains a happy, energetic dog. And thanks to calling the vet, Birdie's family got an ending that could not be sweeter. I think that this is a miracle. That's the most happy ending that I've had. Like Birdie, pointers are energetic, which makes apartment living less than ideal. If you did have an apartment, you'd have to make sure that the pointer gets an hour of vigorous exercise. Grooming the pointer is fairly minimal. Their smooth coat just needs regular brushing. And the pointer is a pretty healthy breed, but they're prone to hip dysplasia and hypothyroidism, which can lead to skin conditions, epilepsy, and allergies. Training, though, might be a little demanding. But these top sporting dogs are tops with a family. So in general, the energetic pointer needs lots of exercise and will be happiest with a yard.